Hey guys, how are you today? Thank you so much for joining me again. I appreciate your support. I did couple of videos previously um, on Tab S6. One was an unboxing video and and a review on S Pen and keyboard, which eventually piqued my curiosity to understand where is the tablet market going? What is it headed towards? And is it really worth considering an Android? tablet in today's day and age with those thoughts let us see whether we can answer that question who dominates the tablet market today there is no surprise here since the first ipad launched in 2010 the device has dominated the market with apple selling close to 400 million till date that's an average of 40 million per year and 10 million per quarter. Android tablets have been fragmented with many players trying to get a share of the pie. To counter it, Apple over the years have introduced four variations, iPad, the iPad Air, iPad mini and an iPad Pro, covering all the budget region, ranges and making sure that there is an iPad for every type of consumer be it a, a professional a media professional for example uh, be it an average user be it a business uh, user or just be a kid there is an ipad for everyone but things have started to change what has happened to ipad recently this is very interesting as i said it's 10 million per quarter on an average but in the last three five years ipads sales have dropped to single digit only in the previous quarter the first quarter of this year now this can be attributed to slowing economy and the current uh, recession that we are facing right now and the rise of competition there is a significant uh, rise in competition and android markets uh, and android tablet sorry android tablet market have seen consolidation who has been chasing ipad still uh, till date samsung predominantly yes has been chasing the sale and uh, tab s6 has kept the sales steady at 5 million per quarter in 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 the current year but having said that that's not the only competitor out there there is a new smart kid with the huawei sales almost tripling in five years we have seen that they have steadied the boat at three to four million per quarter so together huawei and samsung in the last quarter they have outperformed the ipad sales at eight million in the first quarter 2020 compared to ipads seven million huawei with its matepad pro and media pad lineup has shown considerable competition in this area Therefore, that made me realize that uh, what is going on? Uh, what are the key trends here? So the first trend that I see, the user base, that has vastly changed from, from an average youngster, uh, less than 30 years old. In uh, today's uh, world, uh, in 2020, about 64% of the tablet users in the US are in the age groups of 30 to 49, who are predominantly business users, who are users in corporate, and they are driving they are they have new needs they have productivity needs and that uh, is seen in the second trend tablet as a productivity device with android 10 desktop mode and the innovation of samsung dex tablets are no longer standalone devices just for media consumption and this trend has also been captured by microsoft in the cross platform support that is arising Microsoft's Office 365 strategy to become device agnostic has opened doors for enterprise market towards tablet adoption. So given these three trends, what you can observe is tablet as a laptop replacement is an emerging concept. And we do see the convergence of it. We do see Microsoft coming up with the Surface Pro X, which is a uh, sort of like a tablet as well as it's a, uh, it's a considerable productivity uh, laptop 
and with the new Surface Go 2, we also see the same trends. And therefore, as we started, is it time to start valuing an Android tablet? My answer to that question is yes. And just like any other answers with yes, you would expect a but coming in there. So what is happening there? What is required to change? First one is there should be seamless connectivity with an eSIM support, with an LTE support. A tablet user requires seamless connectivity. Secondly, enhance reliability which means as we are going into cross-platform support uh, new apps are being developed by Microsoft or Adobe and the likes of these organizations enhanced reliability on the performance of the app is extremely important we cannot have apps crashing especially for enterprise users and given that enterprise users that will uh, who will be using this machine there will be transfer and communication of customer and client data and that brings to the third most important aspect that needs to be changed robust security if we can come with this approach of having an android tablet which can which can uh, tap onto these three potential enhancements i believe that it's a step in the right direction and we can seriously consider android tablets as a laptop replacement with those thoughts thank you so much for joining me again today i appreciate your support till date and i wish um, a very safe and healthy life for you at home in the current circumstances please do like and subscribe and comment on my channel if you require new topics that you want to cover please do put it in the comment section Thank you so much. Order out.